Hi everyone, it's David. I hope you're doing great. It is a Tuesday, January 23rd. Wow, is energy moving. Do you feel it? Have you been feeling what's been going on? If you've been maybe feeling a little physically ill, if uh, maybe you've been feeling a little bit kind of like uh, achy joints, like not able to move forward, that kind of feeling, like, you know, um, a little bit molasses, that kind of deal. That stuff's ending, um, but it means that you have to really have your stuff in line. So, you know, I was thinking about today and how I've been feeling personally um, and the people that I work with and talk with uh, and, and what's really been going on over the last few weeks. And really post-holiday time, um, a lot of people have been experiencing this kind of dark energy time, you know, this kind of this kind of uh, a place where they're shedding stuff. They feel like they're really trying to shed stuff. Things are being brought to their attention, um, particularly from like, you know, friends 30 years ago or family 30 years ago, um, uh, that kind of stuff, you know, from way back. Like you're almost clean, cleaning out, like putting this stuff to bed, boxing it away, being done, but not boxing it away, like holding onto it badly, right? We've talked about that, like more like, like it's done, like put to rest. Um, so a lot of that kind of energy going on. I bring this up because <clears throat> part of this experience, particularly when you're an energy sensitive, is what are you uh, receiving from, I'm gonna say the collective, what is the big energy uh, that you're feeling? So if you kind of think about it that I'm an energy body and you're an energy body, and a cat or a rock or a tree or whatever is an energy body, right? Um, and all of that energy on this place um, collects into kind of a layer. So, you know, I'm an individual with my signature and you're an individual with your signature, but ultimately we combine, our energy structure combines what, what we're putting out, this vibe, right? What we're broadcasting, what we pray, all of that creates this layer, that's the collective, that's part of what you tap into. Feeling particularly physically ill, for me, has always been denoting a disturbance in the force in that bigger, thicker layer. Um, and here's something to think about that I was thinking about earlier. Okay, so I'm breaking here for a second, and I'm just thinking about like what could be possibly going on, right? So you have Hawaii, you know, having a fake missile threat uh, for, from a, uh, that's pretty significant, right? Or maybe, you know, that a bunch of mega banks are being pardoned and all of this stuff is changing behind the scenes. I mean, who knows? What about, you know, one country threatening another to go to war? Is this create an energy signature? I mean, could it be as simple as just coronal holes and, and any sort of projections from the sun? I mean, who knows? I'm bringing this up just to say many of us who are energy sensitive reach out to the news to figure out what's going on and in some ways that makes us feel worse. But really, I wonder if it's not the exploration of trying to figure out what is making us subconsciously, you know, what is making us feel so bad that what's out there in the world that could be doing it to us. I don't know, maybe. So that was cheery, right? So look, you say to yourself, well, thanks for the buzzkill. Um, what do you do with all of this? If you're an energy sensitive, how, what are you supposed to do with the stuff that you feel? Now you can do two things. You can contribute to it in a positive or negative way. But when you're trying to figure out what is it exactly that I am feeling beyond normal stuff and you're trying to almost dissect it a little bit, there's a couple of things you need to understand. There's some things that you can control and there are things that you can't control. And so the things that you can't control influence you, right? So what your biggest practice is, is working on not allowing yourself to respond in a negative way to those things that you can't control. So as that stimulus comes in, how are you transmuting it? Something to think about, right? How are you using that energy? Are you allowing it to suck you down into a negative karma vortex? Or are you recognizing what it is and then putting yourself in a position to absorb it, transmute it, and maybe do something with it? So either A, learn something about you, B, learn something 
about something outside of you, right? You know, ultimately, an energy seer, sorry, an energy worker is a seer, right? Like if you're an empath, an energy sensitive, you're ultimately a seer. And so you can't see it all without seeing the bad too, right? And yet for us, we somehow gravitate towards that and live in that space, that, that energy signature, and it feels awful and it doesn't have to. You can do something about it. So I hope this is helpful. And until next time, be well.